Welcome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do uh, divide these two polynomials, 4x squared minus 13x minus 5 divided by x minus 2 by using synthetic division. And I'll get a little bit more into synthetic division when we get into zeros. For right now, I just really kind of want to go through the process that we're going to use to do synthetic division. So the main important thing to make sure to do synthetic division is that our divisor is going to be linear. Right? So we need to make sure that we have a, a linear divisor. Um, and that's also going to be in our form of our binomial. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, take our divisor and set it equal to 0. Then we solve for our value of x. And therefore, we can see x equals 2. Then we're going to place this on the outside. And we're going to create a nice little box here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the coefficient of each one of our terms. If we're missing a coefficient, we need to make, or if we're missing a term, we need to make sure we include 0. In this case, though, we have x squared to x to our constant. So we're not missing any terms. So I'm going to label them 4, negative 13, negative 5. All right? So the first step we're going to do is the easiest step is going to bring down the first term. All right? So you just bring down the first term, no math, nothing else, nothing crazy to do. Then we take this bottom term, we multiply it by our uh, what we're going to call our 0. We multiply by our 0, so two ti 4 times 2 is 8. And then we're going to place that right here. Now, unlike long division, where we are always subtracting, here what we're going to do is add vertically. So I do negative 13 plus 8, which is going to be a negative 5. Then I take negative 5 and again multiply it by 2, which gives me a negative 10. Then I do negative 5 plus negative 10 is going to be a negative 15. Now, that last number is always going to be your remainder. So if you don't have remainder, that last number will be 0. And then what I like to do is I like to always go backwards. So we always have our remainder, our constant, and then our linear term. And we can keep on going left. The next one would be x squared. The next one would be x cubed. So these are all the coefficients for our term. So my answer is going to be. 4x, or my divisor for this, or my quotient for this, is going to be 4x minus 5. And then I have a remainder. And we can take our remainder and put it over our divisor. So that's going to be a negative 15 over x minus 2. A lot of times I'll just write maybe pause in my plus a negative 15 over x minus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our quotient by using synthetic division. Thanks.